it's possible using the accumulate facility to acquire multiple data transfers across an I squared C bus. Uh, this could be useful, for example, in testing the uh, linearity of a DAC. Uh, we can send multiple levels and check the commands and the levels that actually occurred. So in this case, in this particular test, uh, five buffers were required of different settings. So here is uh, setting uh, number one, and here we can see that both the channel A and channel B DAC switched uh, from a positive to a more negative voltage. And if we go on to the uh, buffer number two, here we can see that they both switched in the opposite direction, in the positive direction, uh, both but at the same level in this particular case. So now we go to step three. Again, they've switched negative, but here we can see uh, channel A didn't switch such a high voltage. So we could actually measure this with the uh, cursors, for example. So the channel A, in this particular case, switched... Uh, 850 millivolts, whereas the channel B uh, sw switched a higher voltage switch, and in this particular case it was switching uh, 1.21 volts. So we could go now and check the actual command which created the step. So if we look in the uh, data transfer to the uh, channel A, this is packet number 724, and we can do a search for the particular uh, packet number. So we can then select packet and select 724. And here we see uh, data packet 724. And the actual command sent to create this switch was, in fact, command uh, hex 26. So it's possible then to do more in-depth analysis of the uh, linearity of the DAC.